back, go back, go back, go back. Ah, <sighs> see what the fuck is really going on. How TikTok pressures women to stay pretty with plastic surgery. This is gonna piss me off. It's definitely gonna piss me off. Well, so a couple of months ago, I was brushing my teeth one morning and I looked in the mirror very closely and I noticed when my eyebrows were relaxed, I had a forehead wrinkle. Oh, and this completely. It's Black History Month right now. Uh, while I'm recording this video, I don't even know if I should be watching that. Just who the fuck even talks about forehead wrinkles, bro? Come on. It's pissing me off already. Let's continue though, let's see what's going on. He freaked me out. I very quickly put on two layers of moisturizer and then two layers of sun cream and I vowed to never skip my skincare routine out of laziness again. Because now there were consequences to my laziness. Those consequences being a forehead wrinkle. And my panic didn't never mind. I'm a stop at- <laughs> Like, like, uh, what? Am I really about to react to this video? Is this entertaining? Yo, is this entertaining to y'all? Let me know. If this is not entertaining, I'm never going to react to no shit like this. Dedicating myself to a skincare routine. Like the forehead wrinkle was still there. And no amount of sun cream, moisturizer, niamicide, sheet masks can get rid of a forehead wrinkle. So I very quickly looked into getting Botox done. I've, and I've mm -hmm. actually had Botox done before. I had an eyebrow lift. I got the title of the video, but that was, it was no other, like, come on, bro. You tried, what, bro? You skipped hella steps, mama. Can't even call you that. Whatever your name is. I don't even know. Sweetheart? Gal? Yeah, I can't even call you a gal. Um, woman? Person? Someone? Who are you? I don't know. A couple of times a few years ago. And Botox is around two to three hundred pounds a pop. So at that time, I just oh, banished my... I ain't gonna lie. You know what I did notice? That I am jacking about this whole scenery right now. If y'all really into... You know what I mean? Y'all know what's really going on. This necklace, that sh if I'm not mistaken, that's some broken broken planet type shit. That sounds like, you know oh, what? Like I'll wait a month or two and then I will go and get Botox done. So wow. I let it sit for a while. And during this time, a lot of Julia Fox's TikToks where she was talking about the absolute scam that is anti-aging were coming up on my For You page. And if I see another product that says anti-aging on the label, I'm suing. I'm going to sue. I'm going to sue because I'm going to age regardless of if I put the $500 serum on my face and you all know it and we know it. So let's stop lying to ourselves. Getting old is hot. In Julia Fox, we trust, which helped to clear my head a little bit and feel a bit. What the fuck? I need to breathe. Yo, Jesus, this is a wave of just like dumb shit. Like, what's the, why is it doing that? I did that twice. Pardon me. I'm fucking up the video. That's probably God saying I shouldn't even react to this. What, bro? This is not even a pro This is not a problem. Like, niggas is making problems out of no problems, bro. Like, dead ass? Come on, son. A wrinkle? You talking about Botox? Just get mad steps. Shit that just arose to me at one time. Just a wave. It's just like hitting me and back to back some, to back. Eat some herbs. Eat some herbs. Niggas want to go to Botox, bro. It's mad other help. Change your diet. Eat some herbs. Uh, make your own skin skin routine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, son. Everything you try is not gonna work. For, like everything that's mainstream is not gonna work for you, people. Come on, man. It's mad steps niggas could do. Niggas could um. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know if she went to a dermatologist. You just grabbed something out of a CVS. Like, it's mad steps, bro. I don't fucking know, bro. Back to back, bro. Botox? Golly. Hey, yeah. woman out there, bro. Women are young. play back. And she look mad young. She's like, bro, I guarantee you she's between the ages of anywhere between... 18 to like 25, bro. Come on. Listeners, our female mad, playback yo. listeners. Do y'all deal with this or is she just like an anomaly, dog? Because I'm going to tell you right now, when I see aging things on my face, I don't even mean anything to myself. No you, do. you know what they're going to say? You're a male. You don't care about shit like that. 
Botox. Got it. That that has Got it. Botox. Uh -huh. That's not even at the top of the list of things, especially if it's something that I can't afford and have to wait a month or two of saving to, for me to do it. Your body experiencing like something natural Jeez. and your immediate reaction is surgery. Surgery. Like, gotta have surgery. I'm so epidemic fucking right stupid here. for BBL epidemic. The, the plastic surgery epidemic, this shit is cruising through the community. Well, not um, rapid, it's rapid. Like lacking on a moisturizer. It's because me continue if I moisturize my my, my skin every day, this would have never happened. So silly me, I missed a day or two. Because you know if you moisturize, you don't age. Yeah, I don't age at all. Like that that's the problem. But since I missed it, I now have to opt in to Botox. So I just got to do that now. Like, is that something? Is that a common thing? And then for her to be like, thank you. I hate that. Thank natural. you for telling me aging is is normal. Really yeah, I hate that natural shit's become like, uh, like it's so normal and attractive now to be like unnatural. Yes. Like, you know, yes. it's norm. That's becoming a norm. I'm not going to blame that on nobody. I'm not going to blame it on mainstream me mainstream media. I feel like they was headed in this direction. It's almost like perfection is what it is or, or looking perfect is the new. It's really what people are attracted to when in all naturality. Perfection is, is 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 the concept of perfection is so so stupid because it's like you've reached this point where now you have nowhere else to improve. You know what I'm saying? That's why being imperfect is so much better because day every single day there's a moment in time where you can get better, you can improve every day, every week, every month, every year. Every decade, ever whatever, whatever, there's always room for improvement. Once you become this perfect being, or this, you have this perfect thing about yourself. It no longer needs work. It no longer can can develop to anything further beyond that moment. And then that's why I don't, I don't fuck with perfection. Being imperfect is way better because now you have a goal, you have something to work towards, and it's not even perfection that you work towards. It's just being better. Just getting, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that one. Kinda Surgically enhance everything and like to not be human. It's so like, mm -hmm. there's something so dehumanizing about like aspiring to be less human. It's so odd to yeah, me. That too. I'm someone I've been reading feminist literature and feminist articles uh, for the past few years. Yeah. I know that women's beauty standards are rooted in ageism. Yet despite this, ageism? I only spent... 300 pounds on Botox just because of one forehead wrinkle. I don't know about anyone else, but I spend a lot of time on TikTok. I think if I didn't spend a lot of time on TikTok, I'd probably have nothing to talk about in these videos. The more time I spend on TikTok, the more I realize how much of a terrible app it is for women. And we're gonna investigate oh, this more today. But I didn't man. come to this conclusion. Right. Oh my God, it's bro. It's user generated. And not only that, bro, it this problem that you're referring to existed before TikTok. IG was a problem. Then before that, I'm about to age myself. MySpace was a problem. And before that, yeah. it was a magazine covers was a problem. And before it's it's always been a problem, bro. TV before TV that. TV before that. Like yo, like yo, you have to, yo, there's no way I'm gonna be play devil I mean, I play devil's advocate for real. It's easier to blame an outside entity than it is to blame self. Fuck it, I said it. If you could blame a corporation or, or put the blame on somebody else, the reason why you didn't get or achieve to where you want to be or do the things that you want to do or whatever the case may be, it's way easier to be like, man, you know? That 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 TV show we used to watch, uh, The Nanny, used to have all that fire shit on, man, and, and these beauty standards. You know what? She, she subconsciously... I'm the reason I am because I used to watch her and I idolized her so much that everything she did, I feel as though is the standard. And then it just progressed. I'm just giving you an example. Obviously, it just started progressing from TV to, like they said, further and further. So it's easy to do that. Um, you aging, it's a part of life, man. It's a beautiful thing. You go wisdom, wise. You, you, you go through you go through a lot of things when it comes to aging. You got memories, you know what I'm saying? Countless other things that that you may have not cherished or, or adored back then that you you know what I'm saying could take in now and like you know what I'm grateful that I have this so it's like bro 
take this life shit in stride, bro. You got a blemish or whatever. Shut Wait, you believe up, that bro. this just started becoming a problem because Nobody of TikTok? Cares. At some point, you have to take some form of accountability and separate yourself from what is deemed the norm, the quote norm unquote. It's no, you, you, you read. You just said that. Yo, so you read about thing. Y'all, if y'all don't know this, if you don't know this, when, like anybody, you set the standard in, 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 <laughs> in the fucking. What is this shit? And, and you literally you literally set the standard for whatever you want. As, as a people, we set the standard for whatever. Like, the the fashion, we set that standard, we set that trend. Whatever we deem is what we like or, or what is accepted, the people set that. So, if you set, if there's a standard that's being set as a, as, as a collective or, like, you can literally change that. It's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go all natural. People do it all the time. I don't want to. I don't want to be a part of this the standard being set and they go another direction. So stop acting like you don't have free will. That's your feminist the articles and still decided to do it. Also, you exactly. did, you're making this argument with a face full of fucking makeup right now. You're literally you're at, you're actively <laughs> in the process of saying this. You are actively trying to not look like yourself. I don't want to age my lips. So just, yeah, moisturizing, uh, bitch. Hey, yeah, that nigga's crazy. That's crazy. You're wrong. I can acknowledge that you as a woman is being, in, in some form, being um, misrepresented because that's not how you look. And you have no control over that. But as soon as we get to the stage of, of social media existence where y'all have control and you still are downloading these apps and you're doing it to your own body, bro, hey, bro, like, what are we talking about? It's friendly for the fucking... Uh... The algorithm to that point, bro. Yeah, and with women's appearances, the latest celebrity plastic surgery trend, buckle fat removal. Are you reaching your mid 20s? You should probably implement a 10 step skincare routine so you can prevent aging now. Make sure you also get an anti wrinkle straw, anti wrinkle face tape. Make sure you start getting baby Botox too, you know, preventative, and then get. Yo, women, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, son. I get, I get it, yo. It's hard, cause what the fuck? What is all it is to look beautiful? For whom? For what? Yo, you know, like, I've been saying this for like people that get BBLs and all these other surgeries. You feel me? Kudos to you because that's what you want to do. That's what you're going to do. It's your money. Do what you want. But to think that you're going to get these things and they're not going to be significant side effects to this shit. Like, for example, you still have to begin the BBL. It's like getting... I, I can't put it. I was going to put it in car terms, but it's like getting a, it's a, I literally is getting a modification to your body. Right. So you're getting a modification to your body. You still have an upkeep on the modification. You still have to work out. You still have to do proper things. You can't you got to like sleep with something. You know what I'm saying? Like you still have to take care. So when I see all of these different things, it's like, yo, you still have to keep up with this with Botox. Boom. You get one thing. You get one thing of Botox. Then a couple of months, a couple of years go by. You're like, oh, kind of wore off. Uh, the lip shit. Oh, kind of wore off. I got to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's never stop. It's never ending. I just think certain things just need to be left alone. But well, who am I? This is what the, the women want. This is the standard. Well, I don't know which, which women are into this. I don't. I don't know that. Natural Botox? Can't afford baby know. Botox? A great alternative is to train your face muscles to not move. Nose job what before and after. Fuck? Ski slope noses. This is nuts. This is nuts. I'm out. I'm out. That's nuts. I'm not watching that shit no more. I'm out.